What is going on guys? And I'm Tim Man. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create your own World of Warcraft add-on. Yes, you Yes, I'm doing my series. So this is going to be a series where we're going to make an add-on that basically just adds a tool to that adds something is in-game tooltip like your own text and in-game tooltip on a spell and we'll even do it on like debuffs of the spell. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, before we start, we're going to need some coding software. I recommend Notepad++ or Visual Code Studio. I mean Visual Studio Code. Now, for the rest of this part, I'm going to refer to that as VS Code. So to get either one of those, you need to just go to their download page. Page, which to get to Notepad++, here is there. This is what Notepad++ this download page will look like. In order to find it, it's really easy. You just gotta f type in Notepad++. Click on the download page. Click on the download page. And then it's the, uh, there. For VS Code, you just search it up, same thing, search it up. Find the download page, it's here. I'll post the link in the description for both these. So, once you have your coding software installed, you're going to need to find out where you have World of Warcraft installed on your computer, which is, which for Windows, you go into your C drive, you go into Program Files Times 86, you find World of Warcraft, choose what version you want it to be in, in. you can have it in TBC, E, Vanilla Class. <laughs> Wrath of Lich King Classic coming out soon or retail, but for this part we're going to do retail. So go into the version, click interface, go into your add-ons folder, and this is where all your add-ons will be stored. But of course if you are like, but if you have an uninstalled, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to assume you don't have any add-ons installed. So here's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to make a new folder and name, this is going to be your add-on folder. You can name this whatever you want. This won't show up in game, but it's per it's usually good to name your add-on the same th name as you name your folder. So for this for video purposes, we're gonna name it my add-on. Then we're gonna go into that folder, folder, and then you're gonna want to create a new text document. Name it the same thing you named as your add-on folder. So right here, here, name it my add-on. But instead of adding it ending a dot text we're going to end it in dot toc this is important this means table of contents and you need to end it in this this or else that your add-on won't work and it has to be the same name or your whole add-on won't work so it's going to ask you do you want to change the file extension yes and this is where the coding software comes in handy so you might you'll be asked probably how do you want to open this file choose notepad plus plus or choose visual studio code so here in the TOC file, we're, we can type a ton of information, and but we're but for, we're gonna type pretty much not that much information. So we're gonna want to do hashtag hashtag and for the first way we're gonna want to do hashtag hashtag interface nine zero two zero five. Now the reason why I have it colored why I have it colored is I have the WoW bundle installed on Visual Studio Code, which we'll get into extensions later. Now the, re now the interface number is very important, and basically throughout all this series, I'm going to treat you as if you haven't done coding in your, li in your whole life. So what the interface number is, is basically what version the, the get build info from the WoW API I dumps um, is. It's the fourth value in there. Yeah. There. So... What you can do is if you're like, oh, I don't know the get build info. What you can do is go into the game and type in and type the command slash dump get build info. And I'll leave it in the description. And then we'll dump the get the fourth value, all the values. And then, yeah. Yeah, it does that. So then for the next part, you're going to want to do hashtag hashtag version. This thing can be whatever you want. I mean, you're the developer. You can name it anything. You could be do 0, 0 0.08, 0 0.8, 1.0, 0 0.5. You're the developer. You can really do anything. 
But for video purposes, we're just going to do 1.0. Oh, this doesn't even show up in game, so it really doesn't even matter. Then hashtag, hashtag, title. This is what the title and the add-ons tab in the game will appear with. So we're going to name it my first add-on. And hashtag, hashtag, notes. This will basically be the description of your add-on add -on in game in the tab. So we're going to do the notes as my first add-on. And then for the next part, you're going to want to do hashtag, hashtag, author. And then just put yourself. So, so we're just, I'm simply, so I'm continuing, we're just going to put me because, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, oh, what you're going to want to do. Who is then you're gonna want to go back into your that folder you created. You want to make a new another new folder file, and this file can na be named whatever the heck you want. You can name it new text, but for video purposes, we're gonna name it my add-on. And instead of ending it in .toc, we're gonna end it in .lua. This is very this is where basically your whole add-on code will be. So I like to put a space between them both, between the author and the, author in the Lua file, but we're just going to do that. So basically what the, we've done, so here's what we've done as a quick breakdown. We've specified the interface number where so our add-on will be up to date. We've made, we've made, we've made a version for add-on. We've made a tie, we've set up a title. Though, and the version thing can go wherever you want. Actually, you don't have to have it after interface. You, and we made notes. Notes. We're gonna name this my add-on instead. I don't like notes. And we also made the author. There. So. Yep. That's that's how it works. Then you're gonna want to go into the Lua file that you created. And now this is where all your code can go. Everything. While there's a lot of code, there's so much code that if I tried to explain this all in all the code I do in one video, this video would probably take hours. Would not probably it would take hours for us to do. So so we're gonna do a simple print statement. Print hello world. That simple. And then you're gonna want to go into World of Warcraft, the version you selected it in. Now what I like to do is I like to actually create a fake account, a trial account, and that's basically to make it so it doesn't interfere with my real account. Account, and you can get trial accounts for free, and you don't have to pay anything for it, right? And you can make as many add-ons as you want. I think the only thing trial accounts can't do is, is just access guilds and the auction house and basically whisper other players and stuff like that. But if, but for video, but the, we're not making this add-on for any of those. Those, so it really doesn't affect us. That's that much. So we're in the game. We're gonna go into the character. Oh, in the layer account, I'll have to use my main account. So it's printed, as you can see here. Here it printed "Hello World," oh, and that it was from our add-on. Now you can now you don't have to make it say "Hello World." The quotes here are important, aren't actually that important right here. They can you can say anything. You can make it say like if you wanted to say your player name, all you gotta do is pretty simple. All you gotta do is this. So local name equals unit name player and then you and then you can do hello dot dot name and now it will get your 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 player name i believe if this doesn't work it's gonna be very embarrassing so slash reload okay so it worked out but now you we see in the chat box here that it's squished together together 
And by the way, wait, the reason for the two dots was to give it a space and add another string, but it looks like those two strings are con are stuck together. And again, what if now if you don't know what a string does, a string is basically a a text a way of saying text. Text encoding. And these two dots space it out. So now what we can do is create a string. We can create something in here that just small quotes that that basically will just make a space between it. So if we type reload, now we have space, and now it says hello Ernestina, which I honestly don't know why I named my character that. So that is how to make a basic add-on. Uh, we'll get into way more coding in the next episode. So stick around, guys. Don't guys. Hope you enjoyed the ep this coding episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Good.